Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, I, I am a, a little saddened by what is going on in your courtroom. Your Honor, when did people start suing other people because they are ugly? I don't understand. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, if you know your client is ugly, why have you come to defend? Your Honor, I never said that I know my client is ugly. That is what is stated ah, in the writ. That is why I'm saying it. That they are ugly. Can you please take your seat? Take your seat. <laughs> I believe it is you that your you owner is lose. talking to. Hey, I mean you. I, I think you have lost. Your owner, um, a very renowned musician that we all know, Robert Kelly, popularly known as R. Kelly, said, sang a song. And he said that, uh, when a woman loves, nobody she loves, she loves for real. Your Honor, what is going on here is that uh, the plaintiff is trying to exploit uh, my client's heart. Your Honor, my client has done nothing but shown genuine love, genuine concern, and genuine care for the plaintiff here. Your Honor, look at my client. That's Even the woman that showed the new face. <laughs> Your Honor, may I go on? Please, sir. Your Honor, if you look at my client here, a very humble, calm, collected, and cool woman, a very beautiful one as such, you can see. Who was proposed to by this man? Your Honor, they dated for eight months. Let it be clear. They dated for eight months. They went out, went to counseling in church, did everything that was correct to be done. A virtuous woman, for that matter. And they got married. Your Honor, the night after uh, uh, their wedding, the next morning when they, wake, they woke up, this man said that uh, this is not the woman that he married. She thought it was a joke, honeymoon joke. She was playing along. All uh, she could see was that the man had packed his things and left where they did the honeymoon. Your Honor, she cried and cried. I think we know. That we don't need a story. Thank so you very the much, The defense Your Honor. is what we want. <clears throat> Your Honor, our defense is that even if we are going into the law, marriage is an ordinance according to the law. And it's a contract. Your Honor, before you enter into a contract, you have to do due diligence to everything that entails in the contract before you, you, you give your consent, before you consider what the contract is presenting to you, and then you sign if you have to. Your Honor, he had eight months. He went through everything, all the investigations that he was supposed to do. He did, and he signed the contract, and they married. Your Honor, Section 9 of the Matrimonial Causes Act, Act the Matrimonial Causes Act of 1971, Act 367, said that uh, uh, within the first two years of the marriage, the law pre prevents a petition for divorce from being brought to court. So according to the law that both you and I are using here right now, even if he has any case to bring to court, he has to wait for two years of the marriage before he can bring the case to court. So what he has done is directly against the law that we are working with. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome, Your Honor. Before I sit down, Your Honor, I want to quote... Where is my Bible? I want to quote a scripture from the Bible. Your Honor, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 downwards. It says that love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily we know, angered. We know all this. We know all exactly, this. Exactly, Your Honor. So all I am saying is that uh, consider the heart uh, of uh, a loving wife. Uh, let them go and work on this marriage uh, because uh, I believe uh, it can work. This is a very beautiful woman. Right. And so, Your Honor, uh, before I sit down, I want to say that God bless you and for, for showing a loving heart. I know this case uh, is a case you will throw out very soon. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I rest uh, my case. Thank you. Thank you, too. Right. Your Honor, this man have talked plenty. Everyone who was stuck, I want to sleep. <laughs> Your Honor, all the things they might talk, 
He insults my client. How? How they how? Your Honor, <laughs> how you do that? Your Honor, he said eight months. My client have to know that the woman look like this. Your Honor, when you go to your destiny, your girlfriend, the girlfriend come out to come and meet you. If you call her, you say that are you? I come to your house. Are you there? That time they get to say that yes. All the time I can't call the woman that I want to come to you, the woman do fast and go and paint. Times two when the woman wants to go to my crying house, she paint before she go there. Your Honor, all the long my crying do is that my crying, don't let the woman come and strip. You don't strip with the woman. But if you go, the woman come and strip there, that time the morning, the woman go and back. That time you see. But all the time you tell the woman, no. If I don't marry you, I don't want to touch you. Then the woman go, flee. Your point? My point. Your Honor, exactly my point. <laughs> that this is some of the thing. That's why me, the woman I want to marry, I have to test everything. <laughs> I test all the thing from this thing, uh, this thing. Hey, yo, 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 yo. How many kids do you have so far? Do you have any kids? Four. <laughs> have you married any of the mothers? No, Your Honor. So you keep on testing? Your Honor, I have not test finished. Your Honor, with this uh, revelation, uh, uh, may I move to declare that uh, my learned colleague is not even fit uh, to talk about what we are talking about. Why is he not fit? Uh -huh. uh, because he, he has not even been married before. He does not know what marriage... Are you is. married? So, Your Honor, I'm very married. Uh. All right, so let's come back to the case. Let's finish it. Uh, Your if, Honor, if there are any, a few cross-examinations, a few questions... I want to cross-examine this woman. Please. Raise up. Rise up. Yeah, raise up. Rise up. Rise, you say what? Rise up. Just say anything. Okay, rise up. Priest, why have you painted your how priest? Why have you touched your face like this? It makes me look better. I can't hear you, please. It makes me look more beautiful. It makes you look more beautiful. That's what the woman said. So her beautiful is here. When she Paint their face, the beautiful come here. Your Honor, I believe uh, that uh, it is just to enhance. Uh, That's okay. Uh, already got given. Let's, let's do the questions. Please. Thank you very much. Quickly. Okay. Please, why have we not tell your, your, the, the man you want to marry? Even in that time, the two of you say that you are going to this thing, learn each other, true or false, before you marry. You tell the man you want to learn the man, the man to tell you want to learn you, true or false? Learn me. Yeah. Have you not learned you? Like um, study. Yeah. Study him. The yes, same thing. Yes, we did. Okay. You study my client. Yes. You I know did. my my client where? He knows me well too. How? Don't you know me? He well, does. Do you know you? Of course I do. <laughs> Your Honor, why, what, 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 why, why are you asking me? Yeah. Please, you have you have broke me. 